town crier for the city of Markham, I have an announcement of great importance. I read, the city of Markham is well known by the number of world leaders who live and work in our community. Today, we honor the discipline, the time, and the talent displayed by Andre de Grasse, who has strived for and exceeded his personal best. Today, we officially declare Andre de Grasse Street in the heart of beautiful Markham Center to honor the man who is a role model who pays it forward, inspiring the next generation of youth. My lords, my ladies, come, enjoy, celebrate our local hero, a three-times Olympic sprint medalist and Pan Am champion, Andre de the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I know it's unprofessional to take my phone out, but I had to. That was good. Thank you, Mr. Town Crier. Thank you guys for all showing up here to support what is a very, very special day, uh, obviously for the city of Markham, but also for uh, the entire GTA and, of course, the country. We have a hometown hero right here, Andre de Graff. Yeah. My name is Tyrone Edwards, and I have the privilege, I'm the lucky guy that gets to be the MC today. Um, and it's a privilege because we're recognizing someone who has and continues to inspire us all. Uh, we are recognizing someone who is, has shown the world his supreme athleticism, but then also shown the character of a great man to go behind it. Would you agree? Now, this past spring, Andre announced the establishment of the Andre de Grassi Family Foundation, which is committed to empowering youth through sport and education. The foundation has already teamed up with Athletics Canada to create the Andre de Grassi Future Champions Fund to help up-and-coming school track athletes reach their potential on the track and, more importantly, in the classroom. The Andre de Grassi Family Foundation will expand its impact over the coming years by partnering with other organizations that provide mentorship and resources to youth across Canada. This is what makes Andre a champion and why this community is so proud of him, so proud that we're naming a street after him. Yeah. When I first got the email, I kind of skimmed through it and then I went back and said, what? That boy's getting a street named after him already? Wow. Congratulations, boy. Now today, you can play your role in supporting Andre's vision for the future by making a donation to his foundation at the Zomaran Fundraising Kiosk. It takes seconds to donate with either a debit or credit card, so no excuses there, and the kiosk is safe and secure. You'll get a tax receipt sent via email immediately, and if you're, not, and if you're one of the first 500 people to donate, Sunrise Caribbean Restaurant will provide you with a voucher redeemable for a free chicken dinner at one of their two participating restaurants. I started salivating immediately. <laughs> uh, I haven't had lunch yet. Uh, once you receive your tax receipt, email head over to our volunteer table to receive your voucher. And a big thanks to Sunrise Caribbean Restaurants and to Marion for their support and for being a staple in our community. Now, with us today, we have some special guests. To keep the program moving along, I would ask that you guys all stand as a group. Our mayor and members of council, City of Markham CAO and commissioners, City of Markham Fire, York, Region, York Regional Police, Chris and Randy from Remington, members of the Markham Royals, here representing all Markham athletes, and our volunteers, from the Markham Taekwondo Club, students from Andre's alma mater, Milliken Mills High School, and of course, Andre DeGrasse and his entire family. Welcome all. I don't know how I forgot this part. I apologize. There's um, free ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, but 
free free ice cream for the first 1,000 people. I, I was supposed to mention that off the top, but I kind of wanted to. That's okay. Free ice cream. Here we go. That's a good idea. Markham is Canada's most diverse community and city of the future, but this land has been entrusted to us by those who came before us. We continue honoring that past and the many cultures that share this community. Today's land acknowledgement recognizes the fundamentals of indigenous traditions and values. It recognizes the nations of the Haudenosaunee, the Huron, Wendat, and the Anishinaabe, who are the original inhabitants of the land we currently know as Marco. It recognizes the incredible contributions of Canada's indigenous communities and their welcoming nature, welcoming people from all over the world. To get this celebration underway, would you please welcome Lafonta and Thought Nobila, who will lead us in the singing of our national anthem. <laughs> 